Hey guys, what's up mga ninja and you're about to watch the initial review and unboxing of Galaxy J8 2018. Samsung launched their new mid-range phone for the Philippines market after bringing the Galaxy J6 last month. Here comes the better offer with the dual rear camera and updated processor the Galaxy J8. The Samsung Galaxy J8 features with the 6-inch Super AMOLED display with the HD resolution 18.5 by 9 aspect ratio. Samsung isn't afraid to cross some boundaries. The Galaxy J8 tangles closely with the lower end spectrum of A-series while preserving what makes the J-series the budget offering of Samsung. It can take nice photos. Yes, this is one of the few Galaxy J series phones with a dual camera setup. One has 16 megapixel sensor, while the other uses its 5 megapixel sensor to add depth information. This combination offers features like Live View, which was once exclusive on the premium Galaxy S and the Note lines. You're sure to get over a day worth of work and play done on this phone. Can it last more than a day? With a battery capacity of 3500 mAh, pushing a low resolution HD panel and efficient processor, Samsung decided to go for a Snapdragon 450 chipset instead of their usual in house Exynos chips. Coupled with 3GB of memory and 32GB of expandable storage. This leads to mid range level performance with high end endurance. A simple unibody frame with no noticeable linings or flare. This makes the device look pretty basic and bland, but it does feel solid and premium in the hands. It's by no means ugly, but it also doesn't stand out either. Looks like Samsung is following a very strict design structure for their 2018 mid-range smartphones lately. The Galaxy J8 sports the same design philosophy as its A-series and J-series cousins. Audio-wise, we got a pretty underpowered single-side firing loudspeaker. The mids and highs are good but the lows are as expected are virtually non-existent. It also loses a bit of clarity at max volumes that isn't loud enough to provide audio to an entire room. Running the software department, the Samsung Experience UI 9.0 on the top of Android 8.0 Oreo, its familiar UI now as it's also found on Galaxy A and J series devices. Low to medium games like Candy Crush, Zombie Tsunami, Helix Jump, and Mobile Legends are easily playable with a little no frame drops. Heavier games though like Tekken Mobile, PUBG Mobile, and Asphalt 9 are still playable with noticeable frame drops of heavier scenes. There's a bit of heating on the back of the prolonged session, but it doesn't reach the dangerous levels. The Galaxy J8 has basic connectivity features covered as it has Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, GPS, and OTG. Call quality is crisp and clear and GPS works fine on apps like Grab, Waze, and Google Maps. Signal reception is good when we are in serviceable areas. So that's it and thank you for watching and please subscribe to my channel on YouTube JC Kaloy, Junior Charlie Charlie Alpha Lima Oscar Riaki and Instagram JC Kaloy and Facebook JC Kaloy Vlogs. Thank you and see you in the next one. Peace.